Why are motorcycles so dangerous? Duh. A motorcycle does not provide the same protection that a car does. Is that true? There's no cabin, roof, seatbelt, or airbags to protect or secure the rider. When a motorcycle crashes or stops suddenly, the rider can face catastrophic injuries. A motorcycle rider is 35 times more likely to be involved in a fatal crash than people using another motor vehicle. That's because you have big jugs. I mean, your boobs are huge. I mean, I want to squeeze them. <sighs> Do you guys think there's any way that Elon Musk is not controlled opposition, bro? Do you think? Do you think? First of all, his Twitter profile picture is literally him wearing a Baphomet. Oh, it's just a Halloween costume. Why would he make it his profile picture, bro? Oh, he's just messing around. Dude, he just tweeted this picture with no context whatsoever. It was shot from an angle to make it look like that right there, bro. Here's what I think. I think Elon Musk is controlled opposition. He bought X as a free speech platform. Everyone who does speak their mind is going to be punished for it eventually. Social credit score will come out. And if one day back in 2020, when you had a uh, controversial opinion, you're gonna pay the price with your social credit score and it'll be like a Black Mirror episode. Let's not forget that this dude wants to put chips in people's brains. Well, I'm not gonna say he's correct because I don't know, but there is the Illuminati game and it came out in 1995. And this card, uh, I don't wanna get too deep because one of my channel members said this, so let's just keep it light. Okay, I want y'all to see this, all right? Try swallowing the giant ball of snot that's dangling around in the back of your throat. It's disgusting. Nobody wants to hear that. <clears throat> that's what you do. Okay. Now, she already don't look fucking normal, okay? The bitch don't look fucking human, all right? I, as soon as I seen the bitch, I said, what the fuck? And she clearly had some shit going on in her fucking eye, right? Some dumbass talking about it was an eyelash. No, bitch. That was a fucking fly that came out that bitch eye, okay? A fly, okay? A fly that came out her fucking eye, okay? And then she twitched. She definitely felt that shit come out her eye, bitch. It wasn't a fucking eyelash or nothing like that, bitch. Because if it was an eyelash, it wouldn't have been... It, come on now. That was a fucking fly. This bitch... First of all, and it's a reason behind this, y'all. It, it really is. I remember somebody breaking down the whole concept. Of, and the bitch went in her mouth. It went in her mouth. It went in her mouth. It went in her motherfucking mouth, bitch. Uh, I think it went in her mouth. She swallowed it. She swallowed it, bitch. It didn't come out. She fucking swallowed it. She swallowed it. Swallowed up. Have you ever been swallowed up? Have you gone through a time of swallowing where everything was overwhelming? Let's just watch the next clip. Check this video out, you guys, and let me know your opinion down in the comments below. So this rocket is in space, right? So... If this rocket is in space, why is there a rat on the rocket, right? When did Jerry the Mouse become an astronaut, hmm? And he looks like one of those astronauts that go out and try to fix something that's going on with the ship. Look at this. Look, that's a rat. And it's in space because you can see the Earth behind the rocket. Look. Okay, here's the Earth. And here's the rat walking around. Look. So how do you explain that? How do you explain that rat or that mouse being in space? I think Danny Dunkoff is trying to explain it's not really in space. The rodent couldn't survive in space. I, I think, I don't know with these morons. I mean, millennials. I think that's what he was trying to, I mean, his name is Conscious Juice, spelled like moose. And you would think he's trying to be clever, but that's how he thinks juice is spelled. One of the greatest proofs is that the Earth is flat. We're spinning at a thousand miles an hour. We're orbiting in the heliocentric model of the Earth, the sun at 66,600 miles an hour. While doing that, we're chasing the sun at almost a half a million miles per hour. So we're corkscrewing and spinning through an infinite universe, never to return to where we were before. The Georgia Guidestones had a little hole drilled in the middle stone, and if you look through it, there is the star Polaris, our North Star. 
How can we be traveling in all these different directions, traveling infinite distances, and that star just always remains in that hole? There's no way it would be in that circle a day, let alone 40 years. But it was there. Even if the Earth was flat, how does that lower my rent? Funny, you think that's funny, huh? Right here, another classic vanilla sky. The sky was obviously cut out. You can see the remnants of the mask right here. If I zoom out, right, if you didn't notice, you can see people's legs right here. They cut out the people in the, on the top. Yeah. Like you can see their look, there's some feet right there. This guy's head is like half cut off. All those people are gone. Now, what, what was the point of that? If there was, what, maybe there was something in the sky they might have wanted to cut out. What if they were carrying something on top of that as well? So this is where it goes into the whole theory of of the old world known as Tartaria. This is where people are saying, hey, we were pretty advanced not too long ago. And it's been long enough now where the generations have been brainwashed to the education system where they can go back and manipulate these photos. What if the world was just advancing the way it was gonna advance and then these evil rich people was like, whoa, 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 whoa. You're giving them way too much stuff when you can charge them for that. So let's dial it back and we'll give them one invention every 20, 30 years. You don't own an invention until the United States Patent and Trademark Office says you own it. We're gonna have these niggas in the Jetsons. We don't want them there yet. Golly, slow down some. But I don't wanna get too deep. I mean, this is a conspiracy creepy talk, but you don't want me to get too deep. Allegedly, allegedly that's what they did. I don't know what they did. I'm just a YouTuber. What do you think they did? Put in the comments. You think it's tar, uh, tar, 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 uh, um, tar babies? You, no, no doubt. It's them. The Tartar re -re Republic, Tar, um, um, notary in them. Uh, okay. I'm not gonna argue with you. Okay, this is the craziest thing. I have never seen anything like this in my entire life. And I lived in Florida my entire life. What? Those are all bugs. Those are all bugs. I thought the restaurant was smoking. Those are all bugs. Can you, you can even see them flying? Like, dude, you can't even tell on the video how many there are. There are millions and billions and trillions of bugs here. Damn, it's all three. It's millions, billions, and trillions. Family, friends, clergy, everybody. Encourage our kids to stay in school. <sighs> I mean, she did say she's in Florida. And they say don't judge a book by its cover, but I mean, she is dressed like Duck Dynasty. Well, I just got a few more things to do and hook up, and we'll be ready to rip. All of those lines? Bugs. Oh my gosh. Oh, editing Adonis here. I did not mean to slip that in on you LeBron fans. Sorry about that. My bad. They are trapping your soul in the earth. Your body is a technological computer running the simulation to your mind, your consciousness. You do not experience the external world. You only experience the electrical impulses on your nervous system. You do not look into reality. What you see is an image produced by the visual cortex in your brain. You are only experiencing the brain and the central nervous system, not the world. The body is the earth. This is why the word heart is earth, because when the heart stops, you leave this veil of consciousness. The head is called the temple because this this is where God resides. This is where the mind is, the invisible consciousness, which has access to the other higher dimensions of consciousness. They have tricked you into materialism. They've tricked you into believing that you are only the physical body, which traps your mind in physicality. The mind can go forward and backwards in time, which means it exists outside of the third dimension, outside of time, space, and matter. But your body is a part of the third dimensional construct, which means it can only stay in the present moment. It cannot go in the past or future, just like your mind can. The devil is the de-veil. They want your mind stuck to the physicality, stuck in third dimensional awareness. This is why they get you addicted to all of the physical pleasures, food, lust, money, and all material things so that your mind keeps entertained by physical things. When you die, your mind will still have the same addictions from when it was in the physical plane. This means it will come back and reincarnate again into physicality. This is why you need to strip off all addictions and detach from the external world because this body is just a veil on top of your consciousness. You want to know how you can tell everybody going through it right now? Look, $10, $10, what does this one say? $20. Ten dollars. Look, what else we got? Fifteen dollars. Who else? 
Nineteen dollars. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, we got somebody rich right here. Forty-three. Forty-three dollars. Damn, that boy balling out of control. The moon is a reflection of Earth. This is because the sky, stars, and planets that are so-called in space are actually holographic in nature. This reality is all holographic. Take a look for yourself. There is something called the lunar wave, where you can see two ripples or waves which appear to move across the moon's surface. This is proof that we are living in an electromagnetic holographic simulation. No, I think you might have a, a, a point, Peabody, or is he Sherman? You one of them nerds. Thank you to my channel members. We said thank you. Ha! To my channel members. No diddy when I say member. Thank you. To my channel members. Fuck you if you're not a member. Nah, I'm just kidding. But seriously, join. Thank you. You are going to get me into the globe. They've all performed there. <clears throat> K tight neck, cockaboo, peanut whistle, una length, dick weirdly, sal commotion, Scott chestnut, basil watch fair, Iqbal achieve. Nan Slack, Giuseppe Race, even Heathcock Pursuit! Every single one, all performed at the Globe. It won't be easy, Toast. You'll have to impress Daz Klondike. He's taken over as creative director literally this morning. Yeah, I had heard a rumor. <laughs> Shout out to my folks in Lees. It's only two reasons something doesn't work, Cam. This is what I learned about life. There's only two reasons why something doesn't work. You want to know what they are? Yeah, I'm listening to you. Um... You're not supposed to be doing it, or you're not faithful enough to. Those are the only two reasons things don't work. No matter what it is, if your record deal didn't work, if it, you you wasn't supposed to be with them, or you ain't put in enough work, it's, it's one or the other. When it comes to Kiki, sir, you are not the father. <laughs> My guy about to put out a, a whole mixtape. He got merch. You are not the father, okay? A, a comedian, a comedian, a comedian. Sit down. You ain't the father, so sit down. When it comes to Kiki, you Damien, are the you are not the father. That always kills me. Where, where are you running to? You, I hope you're running to find the father, bitch. I hope. <laughs> Get that out of my face. Get that out of my face. Get that on my face, man. That's what you should have been saying about the. <laughs> yeah, yeah, baby. Yeah. I'm, I'm already pregnant. Get that out of my face. Would you stop, please? But instead, you was like, Now, nah, usually I don't do this, but uh, now nah, I'm not. Dead Teslas are rotting in the charging stations. Oh, we got a bunch of dead robots out here. Due to the extreme cold weather, Tesla drivers are left frustrated. Nothing, no juice. It's still on zero percent, and this is like three hours this morning being out here. After being out here eight hours yesterday. Has it been charging? No, not at all. It just isn't working. At all. It's just frozen, and so I'm now getting it towed to the um, Tesla Service Center because that's my only option at this point. <laughs> Man, this is crazy. It's, it's, it's a disaster. Seriously. With temperatures falling under zero, these charging ports stop charging, turning charging stations into car graveyards. Batteries of the Teslas have to be at certain limits so they can charge. And with this cold weather, they're draining faster than they're charging. <laughs> Today's forecast in Boston. <laughs> How about it? It ain't supposed to be that cold. Let me get a, uh, a temp. Temp away. You want temp away and fry? You want fry with that temp away? You want fry? Yeah. Yeah, fry with temp away. Fry with temp away. I'm like, all right, all right. What was that? You want, you want a drink? What kind of drink? Um, <laughs> Y'all got Fanta. Fanta. Yes, yeah, Fanta. Girl, you said that. Fanta. You like you want Fanta. Fanta. You got Fanta. You want Shofar Rye? <laughs> no. No Shofar Rye. Okay, no Shofar Rye. You want Ewo? Ewo. Okay, Ewo. 
<laughs> not at wall. Not at wall. He don't want no at wall. <laughs> not at wall. Okay. Hello? Ten minutes. Ten minutes. You said ten minutes. Ten minutes. Ten, ten minutes. Okay. All right. Yeah. yeah. Y'all got some food? Yeah, we got a fortune cookie. Got fortune cookie. Yes, we got fortune cookie with that. Fortune cookie. Make sure you yeah, we got napkins. Yes, we got other napkins. Yeah, we got this. In a fork. And the fork spoon, spoon, fork, spoon. Stop playing fucking mind games. <laughs> Take 10 minutes. Okay. Get the fuck out of here. That's a racist. That was racist. I'm not laughing at the accent. I'm laughing at how puzzled he look. He like, is this nigga fucking with me or, or is this excellent customer service? It was not just the Titans or the massive ancient trees. Though perhaps if you look into the King of Wing in New Mexico, you'll find the ax that was used to cut down some of these trees, though a much smaller version. Geology really truly is nothing more than the study of hardened biology. These are not just a few examples of mushrooms that look like rocks. You can literally find hundreds and thousands of these all over the world told to us that they're nothing more than just erosion much like the giant trees they say are nothing more than hexagonal columns spewing ancient volcanoes though never replicated again in recent times in order for us to be sold on the lies of the theory of evolution they had to dismiss our much larger past the giants and all the inhabitants along with it and as always, the parasites of this realm told us to dismiss the evidence of our eyes and ears. Here's, here's one of the things I kind of don't understand. Like if you are into one of these religions, you know, Goliath was a giant and David, when it went, you know, you know, you know, that whole story. So like if you believe in that, you know, how can you not believe that? I don't know. Christianity says Goliath was the only giant. I remember hearing in Sunday school that it was a race of giants like Y'all put in the comments. I believe I remember hearing Goliath was of the whomever people. And the whomever people, they was like Goliath. So it's a whole tribe of people that's like that. So like, I, I, I don't know why. I don't know. Animal facts that'll make you see the world a little differently. The only reason tigers are orange is because the animals on their grocery list are Helen Keller to the color. So if you're something like a deer, this is what the biggest cat in the world and a striped Uber to the afterlife looks like. Polar bears have black skin. The only reason they look white is because their fur is translucent and hollow. And with hollow hair, light bounces off of them and reflects enough to look like an aggressive piece of snow drift. Flamingos aren't naturally pink. The color comes from the carotenoid pigments in the shrimp and algae they eat. If they didn't eat it, they'd look like an Ikea kitchen, just 50 shades of bland. And if you move like Bugs Bunny and start ODing on carrots, the same can happen to you but instead of pink you turn a shade of orange if you think an orca's eyes are here you fall for their trap card it's actually right there the giant white patches are false eyes to trick any prey that tries to fight back that's just devious this is a black bear let me explain. This is a black bear with a mutation called leucism that basically turns it into a shiny Pokemon. Matter of fact, all three of these are black bears and I can't even be mad. I'm black and I'm proud but I'm black and I'm brown, at least according to Crayola. Bulls hating the color red is a myth. Mostly because bulls can't even see the color red, but chickens do, and because their instinct is to attack the color red, you're more likely to get pressed by a pack of poultry if you cosplay as the Kool-Aid man, the more you know. Well, I think of like the orphan trains, you know, back in the day with the 1900s. And with the orphan trains, they were doing a lot of what looked like cloning with children. And if you look back at the 1901 incubators- Coney I Island, I remember this now. Island. Yep. They, were, they had the stuff on where they had the incubators and they were showing all these children and they said they were all premature, which was interesting. Every single child was premature, but they had just thousands and thousands of these children. So, you know, you sit there and wonder, well, where were all these babies being born from? Where were they coming from? And then you kind of sit there and think back, well, 1901, they could have been cloning. And then now they're saying, you know, we can maybe finally do it. But this technology has been around for a very long time. I never even thought about that. And I did. We had covered. It was one of those uh, nights that I did a, a did you know, strange did you know section. And we were talking about all the incubator babies from Coney Island. Um, they were pretty much on display. Like they, they were in they were put in, uh, you know, street level windows. Uh, it was almost like going to a puppy mill. It was it was incredible. And never once did cloning ever uh, cross my mind until right now.
you don't sound Russian. How could I sound anything, silly? I'm plastic. I don't even have a voice box. I had to borrow this one. Uh, don't turn on the light. Are you, are you going to kill me? No! I mean, yes, but not for a good long while yet. In 1982, Roger Monroe predicted that demons would disguise themselves as aliens at the end of time. That as the times on this planet gets more and more difficult, and calamities of all kinds are striking the planet more and more frequently. He says the grain plain, the master's grain plain, for harvesting the nations, uh, for, for, for harvesting the multitudes of the earth into his cause, just before the close of the Greek controversy between the forces of good and evil. And he said it's going to be done in a unique manner. This, this grain plain says is, is going to take people, people are going to eat the stuff, because he says spirits, demon spirits, will declare themselves to be inhabitants of far distant planets in the galaxies that are coming to warn the inhabitants of planet Earth of the impending destruction of the planet unless something seriously proper is done to avoid it. And he went on saying, sure, saying that uh, uh, they will claim uh, to have out-of-body experiences when the spirits will, through a trance medium, converse with influential people. Spirits will show themselves willing to give valuable guidance that will not only help people avoid the destruction of the planet, but it would cause it to enter into a higher state of existence. Erin Claudia and her husband bought a 200-year-old flat. They started refurbishing it and remodeling it and found out it had a dark and creepy secret. Some people believe someone was trying to hide something here. Check this out. Yes. And yeah, just you be my model. And then under the stairs, we knocked it through. Don't make noises. And then you look through the hole. What the fuck? And a door. Don't make noises. <laughs> I have to fucking live here. Uh, yeah, it is, isn't it? Yeah. Well, we're going to keep it. Well, it's gone. Shine the light down there. Shine the light down there. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Alright. Through even further. What the fuck did you get through that hole? We're quite difficult. I was going to say. Boys. Right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Shut up. Uh, okay. What well, you're saying? Have you got a mask? Down. You don't know what's down in. I haven't got. Well, I've just been. <coughs> okay. It's if you have a look. It goes down even further. What? Another staircase? Yeah. Shut up, man. Oh, no. What? What? Oh, you can grab that. Okay. What? It's as big as your flat there again. Oh my god. They continue on investigating and remodeling the house and they found a secret room. Okay. What? It's as big as your flat there, again. Oh my god. Uh-huh. There's a door there. That goes out onto the street. Shut up. What the heck? Why hide this room? Finally found the secret room. In case you didn't know, it's flooding in San Diego right now. Check this out. So now we're here on University Avenue. What's the cross street over there? We're just east of Aragon.
That's all I got for you today. Tune in again because we're going to do it again. All right? I'll see you then.